What's up guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video. Today we're going to be looking at my anti-armor submachine gun. Right now it's doing 63 damage, but that's okay because we're going to be using this with a stealth commando build. But right now the perks I've got on... wrong thing. Um, the perks I've got on this thing include some of the master and expert commando stuff, but we're going to be wrapping on with concentrated fire just so we can get that focus fire. Uh, we got gunsmith to make sure this thing doesn't break as fast, covert operative and sneak, bloody mess, and I've also got barbarian just so we have some damage resistance. So let's go ahead and get into some of the ghouls at White Springs. Okay, so as soon as I walk over here, there's already something. I just don't know where it is. That's the only problem. Uh, oh, right there. Oh, that actually sort of scared me. Okay. First thing down, and this thing is actually sort of useful when you have stealth. We picked up those blackberries so we can go ahead and eat them for our own benefit. Well, that's a, well, oh yeah, we're not sneaking, that's also a problem. Yes, yeah, so you see, if we're not sneaking, this thing does absolutely terrible damage. But we are sneaking, we can one shot a level 42 ghoul. Top fire him. Now, this isn't the best submachine gun out there. Um, a bloodied explosive one would probably perform better than our anti armor one's doing. But it's just better when you get that extra damage for your armor. So you can really shred against my lurks. And it's good for all that stuff, so. Right now, according to our damage indicators, we're doing 191 damage, so. 204, that's actually not that bad for a submachine gun. Alright, let's make sure that thing didn't come up on us. Let's see if we get our heads back there. 408. Alright, I don't know where. <coughs> Alright, here we are. Oh, whoa, that, that got way too close. There's something else back here. Anyway. Right here. Star and a weightless metal right leg. Well, that's okay, we'll sell that to the purveyor. Alright, so right now this thing is doing around 89 damage, but we are getting those sneak attack criticals, which is making this thing a whole lot better. Which is why I wanted to see this is the really the only good submachine gun I've got so far. I did have an explosive one, but it was a nocturnal one, so. And honestly, the 10 mil submachine gun performs this weapon in pretty much any other way better. It's just better than it, this weapon in any other way, so. A lot of people hate the weapon because it was really bad in Fallout 4. It still sort of is now. Um, but we're just using it for what the heck. So. Yeah, it's kind of a problem whenever we're hungry and thirsty at the same time. So let's go ahead and put that blackberry right there and drink that water. Alright. So now we're not so hungry or thirsty anymore. I guess we'll eat these too, because why not? Alright, so I, I see a bunch of people at the golf club earlier, but hopefully everything is here and not dead. I don't hear anything, so that's not a good sign. And, yep, goo piles, not a great sign. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get into some of these super mutants. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. 
Okay, so right off the bat there, we just got spawned right beside this suicide. I don't know what's going on with that. Dude. We had a ton of headshots, so let's go ahead and back off these things for a second so they don't melt us with their assault rifles. I think it's because that guy's camps up there that they're getting all mad, so. This thing's just a better weapon. So yeah, this thing is not great if you're not sneaking with it. As you just see, we're dealing only about 47 damage with it. That's also because we're using it at range. Alright. So I had to use that the criticals and vats. Let's go ahead and hit up the back. Alright, so we're hitting at the back right now. And yeah, I honestly don't I don't really feel like going inside with this weapon. Cause so many things could just go wrong, so we're just gonna go kill these guys out here. Hundred and seventeen damage, it's not that bad. But it is taking a more than a few shots to kill these things, so like I said, this definitely isn't the best weapon in the entire game, nor is it the best submachine gun. Well, 149 damage for a submachine gun, just with a sneak attack, is actually not that bad. Go ahead and melt this guy. Not that bad of a damage for this gun. So we'll go ahead, head over to Twin Lakes, and go melt the behemoth. Okay, so we're at right here, and that is a legendary three-star behemoth. That's actually never happened to me before, so let's go ahead. I have to be very careful right here. This thing's actually soaking up a lot of bullets. I don't know how it's not seen me yet. Alright, this thing is dead though. Alright. So, yeah, that took a lot of bullets to kill that thing, but it's dead. And that's actually never happened to me before having a legendary three star behemoth like this, so. Yeah. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're also going to be looking at this gun in my inventory in the next video. This is my 10 mil explosive submachine gun that I just picked up just recently. So we'll take a look at that and I'll see you guys in the next video.